Alright, so full disclosure, guys. I did do this first part already of this quest, and I abandoned it only because I had some audio issues that I had to rectify. So, now those are done. But we are in Vardenfell efficiently, and this reminds me so much of Morrowind, the video game. Look at that. You, I think this is where you started off, actually, if I remember correctly. I think that's the zone quest. This, I believe, is a different quest. Or, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure. Canon Velasa? Forgive me, Outlander, but I have enough to deal with. I'm just a simple tribunal priest, and the trouble at the ancestral tomb was too much for even our buoyant armager to deal with. I have failed, Lord Vivek, and left a colleague alone at the tomb. What happened at the ancestral tomb? Lord Vivek sent the three of us to seek guidance at the Andrano ancestral tomb. We were attacked when we got there, and our guard was seriously hurt. I barely got her to safety. But we failed to complete the mission Lord Vivek bestowed upon us. Three of you? You mentioned there was another priest? Canon Levoul. He remained behind after we retreated from the tomb. I know he wants to get back inside and ask Lord Vivek's questions. But there's no way he can get past the Daedra. Or ask the questions on his own. May the three grant him wisdom. Uh, I can go to the tomb and help Canon Laville. Jonathan, what's wrong? Someone help! Wait, it's happening wait. again. First a wounded armager, now this. By dawn and dusk, evil creeps through the shadows of my beloved Vardenfell. But an outlander arrives to aid my people, just as I have foreseen. Oh, snap. What do they mean? What, what happened? That's the Let second time it's happened your, to us. The mother soul spoke through you. It's a miracle. Lord Vivek, protect me. That was Azura, the queen of the night sky. And you, she spoke directly to you, Outlander. I'm surprised the Daedric Prince would risk Lord Vivek's wrath to proclaim a prophecy. But she did say you were here to aid us. Yeah, what happened here? The Daedric Prince Azura possessed that woman and spoke through her. <coughs> I've heard of such occurrences, of course. But to witness such an event. She said evil creeps through the land. I wonder if it has anything to do with what we saw at the tomb. Uh, who is Lord Vivek anyways? You don't know Lord Vivek. One of the living gods of the Dunma Tribunal. You must be new to our land, Outlander. I am. But there's no time. Canon Levour remain behind. He needs help if he's going to get inside the tomb and ask Vivek's questions. Vivek's a living god? Yes. One of the god monarchs of Morrowind. He's the warrior poet who lives in a grand palace in Vivek City. Lord Vivek sent us on this holy mission to request information from Canon Levoul's ancestor. It breaks my heart that I have failed him. Uh, well tell me more about Azura. Azura is the cruel but wise Daedric Prince of Dawn and Dusk. She's one of the good Daedra, for what that's worth. But for her to speak through an innocent means something terrible is about to happen. Why else would she dare Lord Vivek's wrath? Uh, I mean, that makes sense. Lord Vivek and Azura don't get along? What do they teach you where you come from? None of this. Lord Vivek's a living god. Azura is merely the anticipation of Sothasil. Vivek stands as the present and the future, while Azura clearly represents Vardenfell's past. So no, they don't get along. Okay, so tell me more about your mission at the tomb anyways. We sought guidance in a matter that concerns Lord Vivek. I received specific questions to ask while Levul concentrated on summoning his ancestor. The Daedra ruined those plans when they fell upon Uunsi and we were forced to flee. Daedra? Vile creatures from oblivion. You hear about an odd ghost or a nest of vampires, but never Daedra. Please, if they're still there, they'll rip Canon Levul apart. He's definitely not a warrior. Just look at what they did to the buoyant armager. So for the longest time, 
I actually didn't know what a boy amateur is. A lot of the Dunmer speak of it, and even Miri, your faithful little companion, uh, is always speaking about it, right? About boy amateurs, and I never really knew what it was until I asked this question, and uh, now I know. So let's go ahead and ask, anyways, uh, just so that we get full context here. But uh, what's a boy amateur? The boy amateurs comprise one of the military orders of the Tribunal Temple. <laughs> They seek to emulate Lord Vivek's deeds through actions and words. Poor Ornsi. Those monsters went straight for her. Her blood flowed like lava from Red Mountain. Red Mountain? Where are you from? Not here. Children learn of Red Mountain before they even taste Flynn. The mountain sits at the center of Vardenfell, periodically rumbling like a sleeping nix shaking its leg. Lately, however... It seems to be waking from its long slumber. What? Uh, I think we already gotten all of this, so let's go ahead and go. Okay, thank you. So, this next part is basically where I stopped the last time, right? Before I abandoned the thing. I talked to this dude, and I didn't get through all of his dialogue. Just about half of it, maybe? And, uh... Yeah. Then I had to abandon it, because again, I had audio issues. Those monsters... It's too dangerous. What am I going to do? <coughs> did Canon Valasa send you? Oh, she did, didn't she? Yep. That means she made it to Sadanin. Vivek, be praised. Will you help me complete my mission? It would be sacrilege if I don't enter my family's tomb and make Lord Vivek's inquiries. He's making it seem like she went super far. It's literally right, right around the corner. Yeah, I'll help you enter the tomb and ask your questions. As the saints declare, the tribunal always provides. We'll need to be cautious, however. Daedra invaded the tomb. Makes it hard to talk to one's ancestors while monsters try to eat you. I'll also need your help when we reach the summoning chamber. What kind of help? <clears throat> Take this scroll with Lord Vivek's inquiries. While I summon forth my ancestor spirit and concentrate on maintaining the connection, you must ask the questions. He insists we use the exact phrasing. We can go inside when you're ready. Yeah, we will in a second. But I do wish to ask you some questions uh, before we enter the tomb, though. I've already lost precious time due to the buoyant armager's wounds, but I suppose a few more moments won't make the volcano erupt or the moonlit fall from the sky or anything. <sighs> what else can I tell you, my friend? Well, first things first, tell me about the creatures in the tomb, so at least I know I'm prepared when I go in there. Well, I can tell you why they weren't here the last time I paid my respects. Canon Valasa thinks they're some kind of Daedra, determined to keep us from fulfilling Lord Vivek's will. Until you showed up, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Uh, why does Lord Vivek want you to contact your ancestor anyways? I'm not quite sure it wasn't my place to ask. When your living god gives you a task, you say, Yes, my lord. The question seemed to involve the time before the tribunal, which I assume is why we must ask them of my long-dead ancestor. Okay, well then tell me about your ancestor. <clears throat> a few of my contemporaries can boast of a luminary such as Farina Andrino occupying a prime branch upon their family tree. Lady Farina studied at the feet of Sotha Seal and was counted among his companions before the tribunal rose to power. Uh, you mentioned Sotha... Sotha Seal. Who is that anyways? Who <laughs> Sotha Seal? <laughs> it's like asking who are Vivek and Almalexia. They are the tribunal, the living gods of the Dunma. Sothisil is the architect of time and the binder of oblivion. If you want to know more, we can talk after we've finished. Okay, well then I suppose I'm ready to go whenever you are. Before we go in there and face those monsters, I want you to know how much I appreciate your aid in this matter. Just don't lose the scroll that contains Lord Vivek's questions. Now come, let's call forth my ancestor. I'll open the tomb door. Lead the way, my friend. Follow me, but keep an eye out for those Daedra. Don't worry, I will. Doggy. <coughs> Andrano Ancestral Tomb. Okay, then. I guess we're going to be facing off some uh, with some Daedra. <coughs> if it ever decides to load in, finally. Okay. Creatures attacked as soon as we entered the Hall of Remembrance. I think we should get Miri since we are in the house, in the uh, area of the Dunmer. 
We should have Miri for this. No, Miri. I like that outfit. But I think you would be better off with this one. I like this one better for her for some reason. All right, come on, guys. Let's go. Oh, well, hello. Very nice. Hold on, let me look at the map. Where are we? So we're going... Can I even go in this direction? It's gonna make me go all the way around fight. Okay, that's that's fine. Who are you? Away with you, Daedric. Anomaly. I'm gonna kill these guys anyways. Kamehameha! I love the Kamehameha. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. Let's kill all these Daedra and clear the way. Such a peaceful place. I came here as a young guy to meditate. I was wondering what that was. Hey, hello. Oh, I thought she was actually going to hit me. Who are you? Sit down. Dunzo. Let's go ahead and switch to stamina for now. Oh my god, more of them. They're literally killing all of these people. It's absolute insanity. Yes, off with you, Swit. Got him. Haha. It it was, wasn't it, Miri? Look at that more dead people. Sit your butt down. What happened to this guy? I can't even hit him. There we go. I have no idea what just happened, I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, poor guy. Let's not touch him. Then we can summon my ancestor. I mean, this wasn't very difficult. Even your boy and Omager couldn't do this. <coughs> this has to be summon it, right? Chamber. I'll call forth my ancestor, then you can ask Vivex questions. Why not you? I can protect you while you ask. Just saying. been disturbed enough by those filthy Daedra. Why do you summon me, descendant? My Lord Vivek has inquiries that only you can answer, my lady. My companion will present them with your permission. The warrior poet? Very well. Ask Vivek's questions. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Ask the warrior poet's questions. Outlander. Lord Vivek asks, The heart of the world, key to ascension, should I be filled with apprehension? Ah, Lord Vivek always had a way with words. Yeah, very structured. Tell him to rest assured. The heart remains safe. I wonder why that concerns him. Ask the remaining questions as my time here is short. Will do. Lord Vivek asks, Has the enemy of old returned? So devious and bold? An enemy of old, yes. But not the one that Vivek presumes. Interesting. Well, Lord Vivek asks, Did Sophia Sill, in his unending... Crusade, no, our divinity shall, uh, uh, would shrivel and fade. So the seal imagined multiple scenarios and contemplated endless solutions. He even experimented with his divinity, drawing energy to study before returning it. Loss will come, he foresaw, 
but not until the collapse of the temple. Now, back to sea. Goodbye. I hope that's what Lord Vivek needed. Let's talk outside. So Lord Vivek seems, for a living god, seems very vulnerable, doesn't he? Interesting, to say the least. Oh god, they all came. They all came back. They must be annihilated. I'm gonna annihilate this one too. Just because I can. Wait, where's Miri? Let me... Oh, she was right there. Well, that's annoying. Let's go. I don't know why, but I couldn't see Miri originally. Thank you for <coughs> helping me complete my task. Now, I need to return to Vivek City. Have you been there? <laughs> it's amazing. Ziggurats rising out of the water, the moonlit hanging in the sky above. Hey, you should meet me there so I can introduce you to Lord Vivek. Uh, did you understand what your ancestor told us? Just between us, I understood neither the questions asked nor the answers <laughs> received. So not that I expected you. Some things aren't meant for mortal minds. That's another reason for you to come to Vivek City. To help me explain what your ancestors said. I can help recount what happened here. Excellent. Uh, I just need to make a quick stop in Seydanin to check on my original traveling companions. When you get to Vivek City, head right to the palace and I'll meet you there. Okay. I know that Lord Vivek will want to reward you for assisting me. Oh, we're gonna meet him. I'll meet you in Vivek City. I'll be along shortly. When you get to Vivek City, head directly for Lord Vivek's palace. Once there, I'll make introductions and we can tell the warrior poet everything we've learned. Okay. You said I could ask you uh, more about the tribunal after we finished your mission. Of course. As I said, the tribunal consists of our three living gods, Vivek, Almalexia, and Sothasil. They lead us in spiritual matters and rule over Dunmere society as god monarchs of the Dark Elves. I serve Vivek, but honor the entire tribunal. Okay, but do all Dark Elves follow the tribunal? Tribunal? Unfortunately, no. The Dunmer houses bow to the tribunal. But the savage Ashlanders refused to acknowledge their divinity. The heretics never allowed themselves to be assimilated into the great houses. Instead, they hold to primitive superstitions. Got it. That makes a lot of sense now. See, this is why I like going through the story, man. I get to learn a lot about the lore. So, full disclosure, again, I have been to uh, Vivek City on this character. And reason for that being is while I was grinding for gear and all that stuff... Um, I had to go through, you know, guild vendors and stuff, so that kind of led me to get to Vivek City. What is this place? Oh, it's the, the event. Welcome. Is there an event going on right now? This is furnishing and stuff. So there's nobody actually here. So I'm assuming there's no actual event going on. This is Vivek, right? What mount does Miri have? Let's ride. <laughs> okay. It's not a bad one, it's a decent one. So let me see here. Yeah, see these are the uh, guild vendors. It goes all the way around the left over here, all the way up there. So yeah, th I've been here multiple times. Uh, well, actually, like once or twice with this character just to get some uh, some gear and stuff. So now that she's fully complete, we're good to go. Wow, this place looks gorgeous, by the way. I'm trying to figure out how to get over there though. Looks pretty straightforward. Oh, uh, can we get that armor? Kind of reminds me of uh, Skyrim. Except that was the bone mold and it was yellowish almost. 
If I was to get that armor, honestly, I know you could get this one. This is like the ordinator. Yeah, see, it's the ordinator stuff. Looks dope, but let me discover this. Way shrine right here. Vivek Temple Way Shrine. Try some of the local fare. I'm famished. Local fare. I mean, I guess I haven't tried it. I'm sure you have a lot though. Hey, the boy Omagers. They do look cool though. It kind of reminds me of glass armor, doesn't it? It might be glass armor. I don't know. <gasps> it's him. It's Vivek. This is the person who helped me at the tomb, my lord. Lord Vivek, we don't need the help of this outlander. Oh, hush, Arch Cannon Tarvis. Outlanders have their usefulness. And this one intrigues me. So, as you say, I'll be in my office if you need me. So, the, there's a lot of people called Cannon. And, of the rule. and let us speak. And that guy, is, that guy over there is Arch Cannon, so I'm assuming that's like a, like a, like a ranking system almost, or like a division of their military or what have you. Uh, Vivek. Cannon Level says you helped him in his mission. As I have written, the one who helps my ally becomes my friend. This might be Arch Cannon's concerns. I greet you with sincerity and pose a simple question. Will you assist us further, Outlander? Uh, what kind of help do you need, Lord Vivek? I have ordinators and armagers at my disposal. Vast <laughs> armies of followers and dedicated priests. What I don't have, however, <clears throat> is a fresh perspective. That makes sense. Will you set aside your personal goals for a time and become the eyes and ears of a god? Of course, Lord Vivek. I can provide a fresh perspective for you and anyone else who needs it. Good. I need assistance to investigate a strange phenomenon that the ancestor confirmed may indeed be a problem. We'll start with a simple divination ritual. Archcanon Tarvis can tell you what we need to delve into this mystery. Okay. Uh... Was what the ancestor said helpful? Levul's ancestor assured me that a source of power remains safe. As for the rest, let the guess ripen in the mind, and only speak when the fruit grows certain. I require more information on these matters, hence the need for the divination ritual. Uh, well, really quick, Lord Vivek. When I first arrived here, I saw a vision of Azura. The Daedric Prince. I suppose the same events that concern me might interest Azura. Though she could just as easily be the source of these troubles. I don't think so. Red Mountain. Strange Daedra. And then there's... Well, we'll talk more about that when you return. Okay, but uh, I don't think Arch Cannon Tar uh, Tarvis wants my help. The situation that troubles me has taken a toll on my Arch Cannon, but he's a faithful servant. Tarvis will do as I say, and I say we need your assistance. Find the Arch Cannon in his office, and he'll tell you how to proceed. Goodbye. Arch. Arch Cannon, I'm coming for you, buddy. Got some questions that, uh, for you. He seems a little grumpy. Probably understandably so, though. I guess we'll find out shortly. How do I get in there? Right here. Got it. <clears throat> well, that guy looks cool. Oh, he's right here. Hello, Arch Ken Tarvis. Ah, outlet. Lord Vivek trusts too much to put his faith in one such as you, but who am I to question my god? I suppose he sent you to me so I could put you to work? Did he say which task he wants us to accomplish first? Lord Vivek uh, said he needed to perform a divinial divination ritual. Ah, yes. 
We do need to perform a ritual to reveal the nature of the phenomenon that vexes Lord Vivek. Now listen closely. I hate to repeat myself. Uh, I mean, I guess I can understand because I kind of don't like repeating myself either, so I'm listening. Despite my objections, Vivek believes you were sent to help, so I'll do my best to assist you. Go to the ziggurat that's still under construction and tell the overseer that Lord Vivek requires the blessing stone. Then bring it to me in the palace. I'll go to the unfinished ziggurat, get the blessing stone, and meet you at Vivek's palace. You receive a simple <clears throat> errand in the service of Lord Vivek, and countless questions form unbidden in your mind. Very well. Go ahead. Ask your questions. It's not like I'm the busy arch cannon of a living god or anything. Did I click twice or something? Because pretty sure I didn't say I wanted to ask. I was going to, but okay, whatever. Have I offended you in some manner? Offend me? You give yourself too much credit. No, I feel the same about all outlanders. This is tribunal business, best handled by tribunal resources. However, I also obey my Lord Vivek. So I will tolerate your involvement and do my best to aid you. Oh, well, that's fair. He doesn't like us, but he's going to work with us because he kind of has to. So, all right, I get it. Uh, what's a blessing stone? <laughs> ah, the ignorance of outlanders. How refreshing. <laughs> the blessing stones serve as repositories for small amounts of Lord Vivek's power. They allow his favor to permeate sanctified locations. We need such a stone to power the divination ritual. Can Vivek uh, perform the ritual without the blessing stone? If you haven't guessed yet. The phenomenon interferes with Lord Vivek's power in unusual ways. It will be safer for everyone if I perform the ritual by using the Blessing Stone instead of drawing on my Lord's personal store of energy. What does Lord Vivek hope to learn from the divin uh, divination ritual? Even if I told you, you wouldn't comprehend it. Lord Vivek's senses eclipse those of mere mortals. Suffice it to say, he feels a disturbance in the flow of energy throughout Vardenfell. He seeks to discover the source of that disturbance. We haven't learned anything of real substance. Just the fact that there's like some strange en uh, energy. A strange Daedra in the form of uh, Azura. And various other, you know, splattering of other little things here and there. But nothing really of any substance. Um... Very curious to see where this story is going to go. <clears throat> Vivek mentioned Red Mountain and Daedra. Do you think there's a connection? Lord Vivek sees signs and portents everywhere. It's the poet at his core. I tend to be much more pragmatic. Sometimes a volcano is simply a volcano and not a harbinger of doom. As for the Daedra, I have no idea. Perhaps a summoning got out of hand. Perhaps. I guess I'll go get this blessing stone then. <coughs> Excuse me. Where? Did I just take a... Uh, okay. So let's look at the map. Where are we going? Oh, it's literally just right out here. Two skips and a hop away. Where are we? It would have made more sense to stay as a Dark Elf and then after this series change into an Imperial. That way we can actually play as a Dark Elf for this Let's Play. But whatever, what's done is done. <clears throat> this project has been nothing but one disaster after another. How am I expected to get this ziggurat built on time when things constantly go wrong? Don't mind me. I'm just having one of those days. Archcanon Tarvis sent me. I need to borrow your Blessing Stone. Our Blessing Stone? Do you know what happens if we give up our Blessing Stone? Well, neither do I. But I'm sure it won't put us back on schedule or end our string of disasters. I'm not one to disagree with the Archcanon, but that's a terrible idea. Lord Vivek needs the Blessing Stone to perform a ritual of, sor of sorts. 
Lord Vivek, well, why didn't you say so? But I'll need your help before I can turn over the Blessing Stone. The passage that leads to the Consecration Chamber collapsed, trapping some of my workers. If you can clear the way, you can borrow the stone. Alright, I'll clear the passage and free your workers on my way to retrieve the stone then. I appreciate the help. Just remember that you're only borrowing the stone. It needs to be back in the Consecration Chamber before the next shift, or we'll never get this ziggurat constructed in time. I mean, that's out of my hands there. I'm just here to give it to you to or to get the stone and give it away. Uh, can I not talk to him? Oh, debris. Thank you. I'll go tell the overseer what you did for me. Good. How do I get in there? <clears throat> um. How do I get in there? Here? Oh, there we go. It's weird that I have to go all the way around. Debris. Yay, yay. Oh my god, now I gotta go all the way around again. Oh no, wait, no, I don't. Wait, how do I get up there? I really love this music. Okay, so there has to be a way up there. Man, I went all the way around. I could have literally just went around this way. Huh. Do I have to do some acrobatics? Whoops. I don't think this is gonna work, guys. Okay. So there has to be another way up there. How do I get this blessing stone? Maybe there's a... No comment. That was... That that was... Uh, yeah, no comment works. Let's get on our pony. Man, my gameplay is all ridiculously everywhere, dude. I can't even mount on my horse properly. Come on, Lucy, let's go. We have to talk to the arch cannon. Cannon! That way Vivek can summon his little spell. Should be interesting to say the least though. Hello! The Outlander returns. I understand there was trouble at the construction site. But you were able to save a few of the workers. Lord Vivek always draws the straightest arrow from the quiver. Praise the tribunal. <clears throat> did you bring the blessing stone? As a matter of fact, I did. Here's the blessing stone. The div 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 divination. I can't say that word. The divination ritual. Oh, I have to start it. <clears throat> was that something interfered with the ritual my lord but we may have learned something excuse me while I compare the results to our previous research what was that what happened Vivek 
Between the cryptic warnings of the ancestor spirit and the unexpected result of the divination ritual, I fear there may be more astir than I imagined. We solved the greatest mysteries by accident, I suspect. Hmm. I should write that down. Uh, something went wrong during the ritual. Did you learn what had, uh, what you had hoped? <coughs> we learn from every action we take. Failure or success, each result teaches us something. It's true. At least in the larger sense. To be more specific, no. Not as much as I hoped. Uh, but there were images in the ritual. Images that suggest avenues to investigate. Riddles to solve. Let me tell you a secret, Outlander. It concerns a living god, an energy that fades like daylight as dusk spreads across the land. I don't understand, Lord Vivek. Listen <coughs> well, and speak not a word. My divine energy, it drains away. Whether from illness or foul malady, I know not. You must travel the land and seek answers on my behalf. But first, gratitude before service. As I have written. So thank you. No, thank you, Lord Vec. The ritual confirmed my worst fears. Divine energy flows out of me for no reason that I can discern. I felt the power imbued within my blessing stone get wrenched away as soon as you added it to the ritual. I couldn't stop it. Hmm. You're losing divine energy? How is that even possible? To quote my own words as the warrior poet, no lock exists that the determined thief cannot open. Follow the trail of my missing energy and try to discover the identity of the enemy Lavul's ancestor warned us about. You think an enemy is responsible for your energy loss? Something drains my energy. Find Archcanon Tarvis in his office and ask if he gleaned anything useful from the ritual. If not, I know his earlier research indicated new avenues to investigate. Go where he tells you, and learn what you can. Okay, I'll talk to Archcanon Tarvis then. My divine energy diminishes with every passing moment, but the ritual confirmed my affliction is not natural. I regret that I could not reveal the full nature of these dire circumstances until your trustworthiness had been demonstrated. I'm not sure Archcanon Tarvis shares your assessment of me. Yes. While Archcanon Tarvis has always been cautious about ideas and ideologies that didn't originate within the Tribunal, and recently, that prudence has grown a thousandfold. He's a faithful servant, however. Despite his narrow-mindedness. What does the rest of the tribunal think about all of this? They always chide me about my flagrant displays of divinity. But so far, I am the only one of the living gods whose power is fading. While Malexia hoards her energy and has barricaded her temple against attack. As for Sothasil... What about Sothasil? My brother, travels. We have not heard from him for quite some time, but I sense that he remains safe and in possession of his full power. Funny, we always wanted to discover the limits of our divinity. Perhaps I will solve that mystery for him. It's interesting. You suspect the affliction isn't natural? At first, I barely noticed the loss of energy. But as I continue to grow weaker, the more it feels like an attack against my person. Besides, the ancestor spirit confirmed that an ancient enemy was to blame. We just need to determine who before... Before? Let us not dwell on disasters to come when we have problems enough to deal with in the here and now. Consult with Archcanon Tarvis and discover the source of this attack. Then we can put an end to it and not worry about what might have been. Uh, what do you mean your divine energy has diminished? <clears throat> I've always used my power freely and without detriment. I create the blessing stones, hold the moonlit above the city, 
and perform a hundred miracles a day to benefit my people. I begin to feel the toll this liberal application of divinity costs me. Do you think you're in danger? I care little for my own safety, but my people are another matter. Without my power to stop it, the moonlit will crash into the city and kill hundreds, perhaps thousands of innocents. And that would be just the start of Badenfell's woes. Yeah, for sure. Hmm, that's interesting. He's essentially losing his power somehow. The moonlit is this thing. That right there. It's a giant rock. I think, if I'm not mistaken. And it's literally trying to crash its way there. Into the main city. So yeah, that would definitely be a disaster, to say the least. Okay, let's see what uh, homeboy has to say this time. Hey, Archmage. Or Ar Archken, excuse me. I performed that ritual countless times, and it never exploded in my face before. If I discover that you sabotage the divination... Yeah. I shouldn't take my failure out of you. It's not your fault that things are... difficult. By difficult, you mean Lord Vivek's loss of power. How do you know about... He told me. Lord Vivek told you? Mm hmm Of course he did. It's his prerogative, I suppose. You must swear to keep this secret, though. There would be panic in the streets if the people believed one of the tribunal was incapacitated. Yeah, no, I... I understand completely. Uh, Lord Vivek said you might need help investigating the source of the problem. It's true. I'm much better at scholarly pursuits than field work. And the ritual wasn't a total failure. It confirmed three locations from my earlier studies. Balmara, Aldrin, and Berazar's Tower. I need you to investigate each of these sites. Yeah, well, before I do, tell me more about these locations before I head out. I researched what I could using the resources available here in Vivek City. To learn more, I need an agent to personally assess each location. Lord Vivek thinks you're the best one for that job. I hope he's right. Can you tell me anything about Bar... Uh, something power? <clears throat> I believe the mage seen in the ritual is Barozar, who works out of an ancient Velothi tower. His experiments radiate energy similar to Vivek's affliction, but they're not a perfect match. Find out what he knows about the transfer of divine energy. Well, what can you tell me about Balmora? House Redoran controls the town and <clears throat> nearby mines. House Halalu also has interests in the region. Rumors of a cult in the area concern me the most. I believe we saw a cultist during the ritual. Make discreet inquiries and see what you can learn. Okay, what kind of cult are we talking about here? I have no <clears throat> idea. That's why we're sending you. I suggest you start at the inn. Secrets get spilled along with the drinks in such places. The miners may know something as well. I've heard that House Redoran has issued some kind of proclamation. Oh, well, well then, what do you know about Aldruin? Savage Ashlanders, like the one seen in the vision, use the area as a tribal meeting ground. These nomadic heretics deny the divinity of the tribunal and have no love for Vivek. But how they could be involved eludes me. See what you can uncover. Somehow I don't even think the Ashlanders are involved. Uh, I guess we'll find out here in this story, right? Is there anything else I should know before I head out? <laughs> I traced tendrils of Vivek's energy to these locations. And the ritual confirmed the connection before it went awry. Just don't discuss Lord Vivek's condition with anyone. We don't want to start a panic. If anything changes here, I'll contact you. Good to know. Goodbye. So now we have to investigate three separate locations. Let's look on the map. Oh, this is a statue of Vivek. Shrine of Generosity? After our long triumph over dwarves. Man, it would be so cool to have dwarves in Elder Scrolls. 
the uh, the people wi uh, wished to build a monument to the heroes of that war. Vivek thanked them, but said that it would be better to decorate uh, to dedicate a monument to all people great. Oh, excuse me. Um, great and small who suffered and died in the war. He's a good man. Or God, right? He's a good dude, man. Let me see. So this is... Okay, so this is Balmora. This right here. Baralabra, blah, 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 tower. Oh, and then this is the last one. Aldrin Ruin. So I guess I guess Balmora it is. Where's the way shrine? <clears throat> we can go back to where we started, and then just head north. Yep. Should literally just be a very short ride there. Get out of my way, troll. All right. Up. Oh, it's a Nyx. What's up, buddy? <sighs> Sorry, you little Nyx. You guys attacked me first. Let's not forget that. I have every right to defend myself. Let's discover this way shrine before we actually do anything. <gasps> oh. Whoa, that was like some serious lag. <sighs> yeah, see that was some serious lag. Ah! I did not mean to roll, but okay. <clears throat> At this point, we're literally just fighting everything. Uh oh. Ooh, we're in Balmora. We definitely came the wrong way. It's okay, though. So, what is it that we have going on here? Is this a guild trader? It is. Is this a guild trader? It is. I didn't even realize there was. Look, there's a little shop here. Did you hear that someone actually escaped from the lightless oubliette? Nope. It's a magister. Can this guy? This guy can fix my gear, right? It's not broken Always or anything. Glad. Whoops. Let's go find a vendor. Can I zoom in? Okay, there we go. I guess we could go... Let's go here. Wait, I want to see these guys. Oh, these are more of the same. It's just bone armor, basically. Bone mold armor. I can't believe Lord Vivek wouldn't see worse Well, I already found where I need to go. There was a note right there. There we go. I like to have my stuff at tip-top shape. What's, which one's stronger? Oh, this goes up to 140. This is 160. So Essence is the best one. I met, You know what I just thought of? I have... Repair oh kits. God. That I wanted to take with me. There we go. Now I don't even have to worry about fixing my stuff. All right, let's talk to her. I love seeing new faces. For a while, it was just <coughs> the same old miners and the occasional traveling merchant. Thought Carolon might have to shut this place down. Look at me talking your ears off. What can I get you? Uh, any idea why visitors have been scarce? At first, I assumed it was the usual house squabbles. Redran and Lalu arguments can get pretty heated. Then I thought maybe the Ashlanders were scaring people off. But after that proclamation... No. 
I'd rather not talk about that with a stranger. Maybe if I paid you for your trouble. I like the color of your gold, Outlander. Just between us, I heard the house guard shut down the Shulk Ore Mine. Something to do with violent cultists who attacked the miners and took over the place. Even got the crew chief, or so I heard. Okay, goodbye. Thanks for the information. So we still do we still have more investigating here? No, we don't. But it appears like we have to go somewhere else. Find the crew chief. Let's go ahead and head out this way. Ow! Stupid dog. What happened? Let me see. I just tried to pet it. Damn dog bit me. Leave it alone. There's something strange about that dog. That was weird. Whoa, lagged a little. Crew Chief Han Han Honda. You shouldn't be here. It's a Nord. Didn't you read the House Redoran proclamation? I wouldn't be here myself, but some of my miners are still in there. Can you tell me what happened in the mine? Our mine was invaded by violent cultists. They showed up and and just took the place over. My people are trapped. I'm no expert, but it looked like the cultists were preparing to conduct a ritual before the Ashlander interrupted them. Okay, wait, hold on. What kind of mine is the Shulk? It used to be an ore mine, and we hope it will be again. My crew was inside preparing to start up mining operations when the cultists attacked. The way things are going, we might just have to turn the place into another Kwama egg mine. Uh, why do you think the cultists are conducting a ritual? Probably because I heard one of them say, with this ritual we'll call forth a mystical weapon and attain the power of a god. Or something along those lines. Look, I was just trying to get me and my miners out of there when the Ashlanders showed up. That just told us a lot. They're trying to get the power of a god. That's why... Uh, I'm assuming this, of course, based off of the information that we've been provided so far. That's why... um, What's his name? Vivek is getting weaker. It seems that there might be a way that they're siphoning his power into themselves. Okay, and Ashlander interrupted the cultists. Well... I never actually saw an Ashlander, but I heard a cultist yell, Ashlander thief, that's our mystical weapon. <laughs> that's not an exact quote, but you get the idea. I don't know what happened after that. I was kind of busy trying not to die. Yeah, it's okay, my friend. I'll go into the mine and see what I can find out. Really? That's awfully brave of you. <coughs> if you see any of my miners, tell them to get their arses out here. I'll wait as long as I can, or until I hear screaming. Then I'll go to Balmora and try to find some help. Good luck in there. Thank you, my friend. You get yourself to safety. That is... Oh, no, there's a dead one right here. Oh, wait, I still have Tithis out here. No, I need Miri. Too bad that this person doesn't have a name. What's on the docket? We're going to kill us some cultist, Miri. That's what's on the docket today. Well, hello there, my friends. Sorry, sorry to rain on your parade. Not really. Ha! Get your prayer on. It will only lead to your death. Oh, I accidentally killed the, the little crab. I didn't mean to. Ritual items. I kind of want to read this, so bear with me, guys. I am a horrible reader. So bear with me. Especially in this kind of writing. It's harder for me to see for some reason. So again, for the 50th time, bear with me. I'm going to do my best to read this as effectively as possible, but... Again, 
I have the reading capacity of a three-year-old. Uh, my red exiles. I need you to infiltrate the mine outside Balmora and recover an item of great importance to our venerated cause. Sure. And to the elevation of Ashlander, Ashlanders everywhere. Currently, this item resides in the uh, possession of the necrotic cult who plan to conduct a ritual in the mine to grant the item the ability to channel unfathomable power let the cultists begin the process by acquire uh, but acquire the item before they complete the ritual the item lies in one of the deep chambers in the mine most likely heavy heavily guarded sneak in and steal the item it has the appearance of a staff made of metal and gears. It is necessary to advance to the next stage of our cherished cause. Get the staff and bring it to me and you will and you will be one step closer to ending your exile and returning to the fold. CC So the Ashlander did steal it, but it wasn't because they were trying to be noble or anything like that. They're, the Ashlander was kind of trying to be selfish, trying to get no longer excommunicado. That is a very interesting state of affairs. Wait, what is this? I do want to... I'm going to clear this area. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing, Mary. I may not be the hardest hitting tune in the planet, but it works. Oh, is that the one I hit last time? Well, let me sit this guy down. <laughs> oh, no, no. Miri hates it when you pick up bugs. Wait, who's this guy? You don't Girl. You look like one of those crazy cultists. And you certainly aren't one of our miners. So by Vivek's holy nose hairs, who in oblivion are you? <laughs> Vivek's holy nose hairs, really? Actually, Lord Vivek sent me uh, to see what the culture cultists are up to. Really? Then forget I said anything about his holiness nasal training. <laughs> They're some sort of Daedric cultists. They've been performing rituals, calling forth divine power, some such nonsense. At least they were before the Ashlanders showed up. Ashlanders? The savages barged into the deep chambers seem to know about the hidden passage and everything stole the relic the cultists were praying over and ran for the hills as a matter of fact that's where i'm going as <laughs> soon as it's safe to leave good to know hmm that is interesting hiya what I aimed at the other guy. Well, that was, I mean, okay. I aimed at the dude at the right, but the projectile went to the left. That was so weird. Does it now? Cause I don't think it does. Pokey pokey, homie. Let me kill this guy first. There we go. That was nice. Ritual bag. So that's everything, right? We got everything we needed. So now we escape. I kind of want to see what's over here, though. It's a troll. Wait, hold on. Where does that lead to? I mean, I guess that goes to the same direction. What is that going to do there, my friend? You cannot hit me from there. 
All right, I'm going down there. Oh, that was horrible timing. Oh, I for a second there, I thought that I couldn't actually come up here, but I could. Oh no, they have respawned. Miri does some serious damage in the DPS department. <laughs> I love it. Might as well take care of these guys too. You know, I like to think I'm agreeable. Whatever you say there, Miri. Whatever you say. My phone is just going off. Crew Chief Hundolf. Did you find what you were looking for in the mine? I did. Not really. Maybe. I'm not sure. I need uh, to consult my contact. Of course. I perfectly understand. Uh, I think I'll wait a little longer and see if any of my miners were able to escape from the cultists. Good luck with your mission. Whatever it is. Goodbye, my friend. He's a good dude. So now we gotta go to this place and that place. So obviously the, the the smart thing would go be going further north. Okay. We probably have to go through the city though. Maybe. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Yeah, see it's gotta go this way, right? I'm guessing. I don't even know. I'm. I probably could have just ran straight through the woods, but who knows? All I know is that pretty soon we will get down to the bottom of this whole tribunal anti-magic regime. So let's go. 